Hi, I'm Rachel Abbott and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily Podcast. If you're new here, make sure to hit follow and give us a rating. Coming up, could a new rocket thruster enable a better search of deep space? Three, two, but first. one, ignition, ignition full power, and lift off. Uh, SpaceX's Crew-9 lifting up there on Saturday from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. On a voyage to rescue two stranded astronauts on board the International Space Station, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov man the Crew Dragon Freedom, keeping two return seats spare for their marooned colleagues. As of around 10.30pm UK time on Sunday evening, Nick and Alexander successfully docked at the ISS. Freedom SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Attaching in complete darkness and around 260 miles above Botswana. The stranded pair of astronauts will return in February after eight months of being stuck in space. Next, scientists at the University of Southampton are testing a new propulsion system which they say could allow far deeper space voyages using metals collected and harvested from planets en route for fuel. So the most of the spacecraft for the deep space mission, they're using either liquid or gas as the propellant. They are much easier to handle to produce the force to accelerate the satellite. So, but the uniqueness of the our system is the using the metal. First, is the it's very easy to store. Second one is the much easy to get in the other planet. That's Dr. Mink Wan Kim, associate professor in astronautics at the University of Southampton. The team's working with British firm MagDrive on the propulsion system, which has received one million pounds from the government. Initially, this type of the thrusters, we started developing through the ESA's innovative propulsion system program. Actually, the geometry is very simple. It's just the two metal. It's the one is connected to the positive, or is connected to the negative. And then we send the, the current to basically heat up the metal and evaporating it. This project is to collaborate with the Mac Drive, which is the company. Southampton's thruster is more focused for the small satellite and the small spacecraft. Mac Drive, the thruster is the target for the little bit bigger one. But more or less, the principle and the operating protocol are quite similar. Dr. Mink Wan created a plasma thruster design for a microsatellite launched by the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket last year. He explains how far this new propulsion system is hoped to support future deep space missions further away from Mars. It can be beyond for the solar system. For example, to journey to the Mars, it takes a really long time. So we can just using the moon as the intermediate, like a refueling stations. It landed on the moon, getting the minerals, harvesting it, refueling it to the start the journey to the to Mars. Once they're alive, they're just harvesting it, refueling it. Once the mission is accomplished, they can the departure for the another planet or another asteroid. Next, a species of semi-aquatic lizard produces a special bubble over its nostrils to breathe underwater and avoid predators. When lizards dive underwater to escape their predators, they have super hydrophobic skin. So they can dive underwater and the air will stick to their skin and they've also got a lung full of air. Dr. Lindsay Swerk there, lead researcher on the study and an assistant research professor of biological sciences at Binghamton University, State University of New York. Lindsay had previously documented that lizards blow bubbles underwater, but they wanted to investigate whether the bubble serves a functional role in respiration. So by rebreathing a bubble of air, they're actually recirculating all of the air that they have available to them while they're underwater. This allows them to extract all of that oxygen. Um, and with Chris Bacha and Luke Mahler from the University of Toronto, we've actually measured that they are using some of the oxygen from the bubble to respire while they're underwater. It's actually very cute to watch. We've popped a video Lindsay filmed on the Standards YouTube channel. A link is available in the notes of this podcast. So all we did is we captured lizards from the field 
And half of them, we applied an emollient, like a basically like a lotion to their head surface, which prevented them from being able to blow bubbles that would stick to their skin. So anytime they would blow a bubble, it would just kind of float off into the river. Um, and then we compared their dive lengths to the dive lens of lizards that could blow normal rebreathing bubbles. Let's go to the ads. Coming up in part two, we speak to global head of sports at Amazon Web Services about the digital athlete tool being used during this year's NFL. See you back here in just a minute. Welcome back. The 2024 London NFL Games kick off on Sunday the 6th of October and Tech and Science Daily have been checking out the league's digital athlete tool, which uses data and AI to manage players' injuries and reduce risks. The Digital Athlete is a collaborative effort between the NFL and AWS that represents sort of the next generation of player health and safety. It is a portal to um, a tremendous amount of data that we are helping the NFL capture. That's Julie Souza, Global Head of Sports at Amazon Web Services. Julie explained to Tech and Science Daily how the technology works. This is all AI and computer vision that is deployed behind the scenes to help run simulations on players and particular game play. So you will see not only is this helping particular athletes and hopefully stave off or injury or help them train to get stronger where we may identify weakness. So that's certainly one part of it, but there's also how do we take this data and make the game safer from a rules perspective. So you will see two rules this year, the kickoff return and the hit drop tackle. So the kickoff return will look much different this year, but there's also a um, hip drop tackle, which uh, has been banned as of this year, because through this data and analysis, we were able to determine it is causing uh, more injury than the league is comfortable with. So that is also in addition to the fact that they're rolling out eight different position specific helmets this year as well. Last season was the first time the portal was made available to all 32 teams in the NFL, such as to training staff, medical staff and coaches. And finally, six weak and rare turtles that washed up on UK shores have been put back into their original habitat. The loggerhead turtles were swept from the Caribbean of eastern seaboard of the USA by strong winds and Atlantic currents and have become cold stunned in cold waters around the UK. Jason, Parent, Gordon, Hale, Holly and Tony have been in the care of New Keys Blue Reef Aquarium and Anglesey Sea Zoo. But now a crew on a Royal Navy airship, HMS Medway, heading towards the Caribbean, delivered them home safely to the Azores. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Standard podcast. For all the latest news, head to standard.co.uk. Tech and Science Daily will be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then. <laughs>